Hey everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Good Morning Cortland where we recap the week's top stories. After a week of bitter cold weather, forecasters say we can expect more of the same this weekend. Mostly cloudy skies are in the forecast today, though we are expecting some breaks in the clouds this afternoon. There is a chance for snow showers today with highs in the low 20s. Tonight, lows will drop to near zero with wind gusts about 25 miles per hour. No advisories issued at this time, and tomorrow we're expecting mostly cloudy skies in the morning, then becoming partly sunny, highs near 20 degrees. And on Sunday, mostly cloudy with a chance for snow showers, highs will reach into the upper 20s. And looking ahead to next week, there is the chance for snow showers on Monday when highs will be around 20, and on Tuesday, snow is likely with highs in the lower 30s. A murder trial for a McGraw man accused of killing his girlfriend's two-year-old daughter back in April began this week in Cortland County Court. Cassidy Danes died of a fatal head injury on April 19th while in the care of Dorian Bone. Bone was arrested and charged with negligent homicide and endangering the welfare of a child. But those charges were later upgraded to second-degree murder and first-degree manslaughter. Public defender Keith Dayton argued to the jury in his opening statements Wednesday that Dane's head injury occurred when she fell from the top bunk of her bed onto a hardwood floor. However, District Attorney Patrick Perfetti contended that the injury occurred when Bone slammed her head into a wall, leaving a dent in the wall and one of the girl's blonde hairs inside the dent. Testimony is scheduled to continue today, and the trial will likely run into next week. You can find a full recap of this week's trial at our website, CourtlandVoice.com. More than 100 people turned out for a Panther Pride Day at Tompkins Cortland Community College. The men's and women's basketball teams hosted the Cuga Spartans on Wednesday, and the home teams came away victorious, with the women blowing out the Spartans by a score of 85-68. to That's the team's third straight win, and they improved to 5-6 and six on the season. The men's team won by a score of 94 to 82 and improved to 4 and 8 on the season. Also during Wednesday's event, two TC3 students each won a $500 scholarship during a halftime competition at Wednesday's games. That money can be used toward paying off college expenses. And my guests this week are two star athletes from the Homer Varsity football team. Chase Kiner and Damian Hoyt were recently named to the New York State Class B All-State football team. Kiner was named as an honorable mention for offensive and defensive linemen, while Hoyt was chosen as a first-team offensive lineman. I spoke with the athletes last week at Homer High School. First, I wanted to talk to you guys about the uh, most recent season you had. You finished with, with a 500 record, but maybe more importantly, you know, it's your senior year, even more of a leadership role. Uh, how do you feel you performed individually and also as a team? What was that like? Individually? Uh, week by week I had to go out and I believe that I performed as to the best as, as I could and um, the leadership role was different this year considering the fact that we were the seniors we were the ones that had to demonstrate for the team and be, set good examples so you know there wasn't really room to lose your cool here and there like even last year there wasn't room to do so but this year especially I had to keep my head on straight the whole time the whole game every game. Mm. Especially with uh, how last year went, we had a huge undertaking with leadership wise, just from all the, all the, all the seniors that we lost, and um, just trying to amount to what they, the standard that they set for the team, for the players, and for the coaches. It was a big deal. And me personally, I had a couple minor injuries that <clears throat> set back, set me back in practice and in games. But overall, but best as I could. And that, that 2017 season, I mean, that was huge for you guys. Um, would you say that was the, the most memorable year for you? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, by far. Definitely. What do you think about that year was, was special? And you mentioned you, you lost some guys the next year, so was it, was it the leadership aspect of it that helped? I want to say it was team chemistry. Camaraderie, yeah. Yeah, the uh, 18 and 19 class. We played together and we went undefeated every year we were together. So like some of the eighth grade, ninth and 10th grade, I think it was something like 26 and one was the total record with yeah. uh, our two groups from modified to last year. You're in your senior year. You're you're looking ahead to what you're you're, you're doing next. Uh, uh, Damien, tell me about uh, uh, Colgate. <sighs> the place is. I think it fits me really well. It's 
up in the middle of nowhere, nice and isolated, and yet still they're on the map. It's big boy football, and um, they're ten and two season they just had, eighth in the country. They got a lot to look. For. We have a lot to look forward to for next year. They um, they rank me twenty six in the country for FCS, so I have that and everything else. I have a lot of expectations. Um, from them that I need to live that I need to live up to, and it just the next seven months is working on that. Mm -hmm. Academically, what are you interested in? Uh, physical therapy and maybe some kind of business tie-in with it. Mm -hmm. and Chase, I know you're kind of you're, you're looking at your options here, but um, you know, given that you got you got state honors, uh, how, what was that like for you? Well, it was I was very grateful to be recognized as an All-State player. Um, I could have done, probably could have done better. I, I believe I could have done more on my behalf to maybe move up in the ranks of where I got. But yeah, I'm excited that I got All-State honors. Mm -hmm. Could be more grateful. What keeps you motivated to, to get better? Um, just looking back on the past years and maybe like I remember thinking back to practices that I could have done this a little better, could have gone a little harder, could have been a better role model. Um, but my family, my family motivates me to get better day mm -hmm. by day. Damien Hoyt, Chase Kiner, thanks for doing this. Yeah, no problem, thanks good, for having us. Good luck, guys. Damien Hoyt will be attending Colgate University in the fall, where he plans to play Division I football. Kiner says he's weighing his options for schools and focusing on his academics. Well, that does it for this week's episode. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when a new episode gets posted every Friday at 7 a.m. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for news updates, and visit CourtlandVoice.com for the latest top stories.